Okay, so now I just hooked up the negative side, and I got my uh, grid tie inverter going into my, uh, coming out of my batteries, the power coming out of my batteries into my grid tie inverter, and then here's my kilowatt meter. You can hear it cycling up here. Probably hear it. Uh, 1.8, 1.9. It's two watts. Um, it takes a little while for it to ramp up. Uh, sorry, two amps here. So watts, it should be looking at yeah, 250. So these batteries pretty much got strong. I'm gonna let it go for a couple minutes, and then I'll report to you how many kilowatt hours I get. I think I get 0.0, point, 0.0, point one. Uh, before my batteries are a little bit down and you don't want to do this for too long because again, I put the batteries so positive to negative um, And then positive and negative on that side into my uh, Inverter so basically I took two 12 volt batteries and made it into a 24 So you really don't want it going down below 20 otherwise you're kind of draining your battery fairly low so um, and then I guess you can kill the life of these batteries and I don't really want to do that, so so that's it so far. Right now I got 2.1, 2.12 amps, and 253 watts. So come over here, and I have it hooked into my meter, and I'm pretty sure that's running backward right now. So I think that's backward, and I think going left is forward. But the way we can tell is. I'll just unplug my plug here and see what happens here. So it's running backward, I think. Uh, unplug this guy. See what happens. Uh, I guess not. Now it's running. It's running forward. If you notice any change, I think it went started going a little slower. But anyway, just putting a little bit of power back into the. I got the TV running and a couple other things in the house, so putting power into the into my house here. See now I'm at 119 watts because again it takes a little time for this to heat up to get it going 120. Uh, when the grid tie inverter first goes on, it takes a minute or so for it to start really sucking the juice out. So once I pull the plug, it shut this down and has to re, re go. So I'm at 2.14, 256 watts, 60 hertz, which is normal. I don't know what that one is, PF. I have to look that up. And kilowatt hour. So I'm going to let it go for about 10 minutes. Pump a little power out of my batteries and into my grid. And then ultimately I'm going to get a few more panels and then run straight through to a grid tie inverter. Hope this was helpful and offer me any kind of suggestions that might make... Uh, this is a little bit better. Thanks.